And Rooly Cooly and Dan Sinclair. This is Lalibella Garena Rebel. A big you up. See? We are big you up because you say I do something for reggae music. Anything you do for reggae music and the dancehall culture, the Jamaican culture, me full dance it. And me always give you my support. See? So we just want you to continue with that. Don't get it diluted. Zane, make sure you don't have this edited because those who edit I will be edited. Say, honors. Most of the last year, John, that's the final. Go thank you. For the master, remember the cause. Curtis Dan Sinclair Studio, don't know, Jane International there. I have some questions for you ask them says I interview, but when I do interviews, I want conversation, not even a No, man, a true conversation with them. I can't even have a nobody, all right? I don't know one conversation, because I listen to the eye alone, I can do See, it. No? True. No See. can't, true conversation. Every time, every time. Yeah. So here we are starting start it off now. Yeah. And the real brother calls, I ask you some of the questions for the people. I want to ask you a question. Go on. For the African vibration. Yeah. As an artist, from back in the days, I have a video with the the eye, Yasa Safara, you turn green, you know, the Lalabella. Mm. When I was there in Lalabella, that on VCR, mm. which year was that, Papa? You know, said so that was 1996. 1996. And what really happened is that the Battle of Adore was about 100 years old. And so we went there for the celebration. So I'm a name Lalabella, you know. And how I get that name? I am and go Ethiopia and go in a Lalibella tomb and find out a Lalibella walking stick actually taller than I am. So I call myself Lalibella. And for people who are watching, Lalibella is the ecclesiastical capital of Ethiopia. So it's a place where a one man cut churches out of rocks. If you go there, it's one of the wonders of the world. Yeah, when you're going to them church, there, especially the one up on the top where I went and saw his imperial majesty inscribe his initial Zane have to ride and donkey and walk and miles up into the mountain. Yeah, Lalibella is a place to behold. Great, great. Is anybody who needs what have any idea what we are talking about is a deep, deep video. It's so spiritual and it's not it's from analog days that come from cassette dates and VCR. Yeah man, well in 1996 and we where is me and the bridging and uh, Muta Baruka and Andrea Williams, who is Kabu and IRFM. Yeah, and we go enough different places. Yes, sir. Right. We go, we, we know, we go Lalibella, we went to Aksum, where them said the Ark of the Covenant there. Yeah, and we go, we go Tisisat, where we see the rainbow in the river. We go to his Imperial Majesty Palace, we eat around his Imperial Majesty table where he used to sit down around. Yes, and the whole of them things, the whole of things. Rebel, yes, yes sir. Some people see as an artist. I see you as a man, as an ambassador, as an entrepreneur of the music. You have inspired so many youth. I'm going to ask you one of the questions for the paper. Yes. What age did you start the music and who inspired you? You know, the music started, I mean. Yeah, what age did you start recording the arts, DJing, and who inspired you? So, it's not me starting the music, it's the music starting, I mean. So, from my youth, about 12, it started and manifest itself. Show some musically inclined, so we start write some songs and them sitting there from about 12. And um, my first kind of encounter in the business was 1983, me win the DJ contest for Manchester twice, two consecutive years, and go town and lose. And then we start record 1984, my first song was Casino. My inspiration, everything inspired me, people inspire me. But with us, the things that happen, and we get inspiration from that. People who in our music, people like Bob and Jimmy and Bonnie Will and Michigan and Smiley and, and, and Daddy Roy and Calypso singer like Sparrow and them and the, uh, Stevie Wonder, Marvin Not Gay and them people there. Them people there That's inspire awesome. me. Anybody who sing music where it, 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 it have something about it, melodic and and it has lyrics. Even if it's slack sometimes, me, me, it can inspire me to even see what the person could have done if he never think negative. So me can't even think the positive to the negative. Straight up. I have a whole heap of humor in the music, even like the tune from long time, Tony, Hush, somebody call my name. Yes. I'm gonna really ask you, what year did you go to Youth Man Promotion Sound? You know, I got Youth Man Promotion 1985. Mm -hmm. 1985, 86. 
how that go now is that Colorman him, him, him win a DJ contest 1983. I won 1984. So me and him become Virgin Car. We both come from Manchester. And then him left and go town and a sugar mine a thing around the place. Yeah. So a big dance I go keep now. Um, for half a tree, a Gemini place, and I left country, got town, and when I reached down there, no dance, no keep again, and I not even have no way to stay, although I have no family about there. So them tell me, say, a bridging where them on sugar mine at when he's not be dead, and so them a play, I'm set up over Portmore, and then the man started up on me, I say, yo, your fever not be rotted, not be just dead, it coming like a him forward. See. So the man them carry me over there, and may I tell you, one big song, I mean, Jaro I played on the road. And the little country boy, I lock him off. Because up there so free, everybody I come forward. I say, wait, I who the little man here? Look at Rassia bad. And then Sugar Man, I say, all right, yo, I need you up on the show, and it's shown good. Mm. So every week, I left the town and deal with Sugar Man. So, so where was Conquering Lion at the time? You were still dealing with Conquering Lion at the Yeah, but Conquering Lion was never a permanent sound for I. It's, mm. it's like you're there country, and any man hire you, we do that. Dog, them our friend. True. So we used to depend on a son named um, Thunderstorm, Rally High Power. We, we DJ any song. What that any song there in our area? We just make sure we DJ on it because, you know, it's in right. the area. We are practice. I'm going to get to another question. What, yeah. what one of your most memorable moments in the music? One of your most memorable moments in the music? No, I'll give you even three. All right, the first one. About, uh, but, but, I'm going to tell you, one of them sweet. I'm going to tell you the first one when I can remember. I remember I get my, my daughter in 1984 yeah. and decide to say, I don't want to stay poor because we need to send her a good school. She's a liar now. And I need to leave from home because it's not to work. So a bridge near Mikey Jenkins came going to the studio for Tough Gang. And them book about five hours. And them expect me, who are going to studio for the first time, for maybe use up about three hours and yeah. so and so. So the first time them send me around, the bam, tune done. No, no mistake, it perfect. And I'm saying, anyway, it's wicked, but do it again. Me do it again, bam, done. Because every time I go in at the little voice and booth, me remember my little baby with the younger son, so I need to get her out of that situation. Motivation. So I do it about eight times. And... Them couldn't send me around there again because it's not no mistake them are hearing the song. Proper. Till a whole heap of the hours missing. Or just got to waste because them did book too much. Not anticipating that I would be that good. So that was a good time. Um, the next one is when I get signed to Columbia Records without uh, nobody help. You know? yeah. Me alone as a youth just get signed to a big company where Michael Jackson and Luther Vandross and the whole of these people there. And then the next nice moment is when the people and government of Jamaica give me all that distinction from work. You know? Then there's then there are three good times. But but the, the moments in my career has been great. Every aspect of it. I've been dealing with that. You get me? Yeah. I mean, who could I go on and on and on? Well, let me tell you something about yeah. a consistent something now. It's like me find myself with the talent, as I say, the talent. Me, me discover said that something to come visit me and then me figure out who give me the talent there and no say at the most I give me the talent I'm mean, gonna think the most I want give me the talent for deal with it in a negative way Definitely. plus me see myself with <coughs> responsibility to use my music as a platform for strengthen my people you know what I mean it's like me can't me can't really get the music to tell people for fire gun because Germany already got through the whole of that with Hitler me can't come teach people about illicit sex because France don't do that and America don't do that. TV so me never see Bob Marley do that. You see what I say? So me use that for strength my people. I mean, if if ones and ones think is joke, just listen to the song them and say the song them when me sing is not about me. It's about a vibe. It's about my people. It's about inspiring them and motivating them. That is my duty. I'm mean, in a leg of that. Me can do slack song wicked enough, boy. Me can do gun song better than enough, boy. Come here, underst yeah, me understand the thing. Yeah, but, me, but I choose. Those. But it's choice. Bless. I choose not to. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's all right. Give one a question for the paper now. Yeah. Otherwise, of the music, yeah. tell me some of the things you're doing in the music. We keep your time occupied. And when you're not in the music, yeah. some of the things we enjoy doing. Well, we're a motivational speaker. People actually pay me for talk to people. So, me 
going to schools and communities and the whole of them something and talk and me do it for free too, but me get paid for that. Me is a youth who read, avid read, and me like to learn every time. When I play a know to my bad too. I used to play for my dinner so no guy can't too beat me. <laughs> I can play draft too, because it kind of stimulate my brain. And I just like reason with people and have a good vibe. But I'm into music consistently, because even if I don't sing, yeah. I'm not DJ, I'm a writer, or I'm a producer, or I'm a try mold somebody for come to the fore. All right, you got to get correct now. Go ahead. What's your take on the music scene now with some of the artists, them how them are deal with the music and it's just coming out and it's getting play and them said like music is not influential but your good music have give people good inspiration, keep people to out of wrong so the music were portraying the negative energy mm -hmm. where you where you take on that to the violence and the crime. You know? Alright, so so that's something they are going from a long time, and it's not just the artists. Because within the movies, them things they go on to is is whole heap of negative things going within the movie. Long before these artists come forward, some artists did that do it. The hip hop culture do it too, but it is wrong. You know what I mean? Man should I really use the music for inspire. You know what I mean? You 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 find say a whole of people say them just use the music to reflect what go on within society. You know what I mean? So, so them say them just like describe what going on in a society, but sometimes when you describe, you prescribe to. Because when you deal with the, the more vulnerable generation, like the younger one, and them see you as a mentor, anything you say, them kind of tend to want to accept that. I mean, a man who is a big man or somebody who is a big woman, you can't to influence them because they would already molded into for them um, character. But people who kind of Vulnerable, yeah. It, 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 you them for no for do a little bit. And the next thing too is that, I mean, your talent is there to help. And Jamaica is the foundation. Jamaica is the foundation of good music. Bob Marley is one of the the most popular artists out of Jamaica, and it's mostly good music him sing. So we should use that as an example. So do you remember a thing like Record Jewel and you saw? Remember Jerry Record Jewel on the radio? Yeah. He used to come out and he test the song before if his song is not up to the quality, you know, it's machine or bin. You know, think some of the songs, them should be more, them should have take more stand. Him, they selected them and some of them, them sometimes, them take it to a different level. So well, I may not even know if that was the perfect mechanism because they, it, some man tell me some song where them dump will become hit songs. Like for instance, you have you have the festival song competition where a man like Peter Tosh enter that Joe Joe Gibbs or Joe Higgs, one of them write stepping razor games for enter into the festival song. And it never even plays. And look on stepping razor now. And a whole heap more song where the man them dump. Yeah. become hit songs because sometimes the people them where 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 where, where they on the, the podium who are judged the thing them deal with it personal you know what i mean i work for people who who keep sure them do it personal and bring them friend or somebody who have some friends and so forth but when you deal with music you must deal with music in a genuine way you know what i mean what is good you deal with that so we don't even know if that is a perfect thing that's the criteria that is needed to make the music go forward. It's, it's a more educational thing where the youth them who are dealing with the music for no say or sisse. The people outside of Jamaica who are dealing with reggae music, them are dealing with it a particular way where the world start listening to them. All of the money we are, if you go up on the road with a Europe with them, and most of some white people up on all of the show, them and them are draw big crowds. If you go to Japan, you see the same thing. If you go to America, you see the same thing. And we can't fight that because the man them learn from us and doing what we are doing. We are the original. But if the original start are going like them, I drop the ball. Then somebody will just take it up and bowl it for them. Yeah, tell me if you have a thing on a play with it. I'm going to ask you another question of the people. What was on the first record you buy as a musician? You buy record. You know, me, me buy a record. I never buy a record. I think I buy a CD already. But I don't remember. You don't remember buying a record? Mm -hmm. Name of three of your favorite artists. Three of my favorite artists. Yeah. Alive or dead. Cast it, that it, on the next thing. No, it never says. Just three of me. Yeah. Yeah, no star. <laughs> three. Yeah. My I'm a favorite can, artist. You know, Queen Africa, I want my favorite artist. Bob Marley, I want my favorite artist. Garnet Silk. 
was, is one of my favorite artists. But Stevie Wonder, one of my favorite artists, too. Jimmy Cliff, one of my favorite artists. You know, for them, like a you tell where I go on. You know what? Huh? Show your love. Then that me, show my favorite group. Yeah. Reggae or just overall? Overall. <laughs> Why, well, I mean, I tell you, my favorite. That Chalice, so one of my favorite group. Third World, I one of my favorite group. And, um,. Honestly, one of my favorite groove is Mighty Diamonds. I'm not even going to take it out of Jamaica. I'm not going to take it out of Jamaica. Still going strong. Yes. Still going yes. strong. I'm not take it out of Jamaica. So, give them a little thing on what's going on in Rebel Salute, the whole world, because you're active. How many years Rebel Salute been going on? All right, so this is important. Because mm -hmm. more time, enough places, more go enough people. Um, ask some question and say some things like even a while ago on the Virgin come but say yeah rebel salute go on and see the birthday all right so hear this now this is important listen yes, rebel salute is a celebration of tony rebel's birthday the first rebel salute was on the 14th of january 1994 at fairs entertainment center you want to know some of the people that was on it? Garnet Silk was on it. Tony Rebel was on it. Freddie McGregor was on it. Yeah? Uh, Malik Yoba was on it. Royal a Girl. Diana King was on it. A whole lot of people. So, venue please. The venue was Fairs Entertainment Center. Then we move it from there and go to Brooks Park. So, during 1994 December, my virgin Garnet Silk then. And then what happened now is that the one when we do 1995, we do a tribute to my virgin. Some fest did a tribute to my bridging too. So a whole lot of people kind of get it mixed up and figure say, oh, it's Garnet Silk birthday. It is not seen. So the rumors where people always are listening to, don't listen to that. You want to know when it's Garnet birthday? The 2nd of April. And if you go on YouTube, you'll see him used to keep his thing, um, Garnet Silk birthday bash. Everton Blender used to have Everton Blender birthday bash. Yes, Safara so used to have one thing named Red Dot. Where him keeps so all that we used to keep our thing, but oh, you know, fortunately or uh, unfortunately, his rebel salute stands still. You know, what I mean, the whole of the man them had no virgin at that time. So, I hope you get that clear. Zane, we were born the 15th of January. So, same many day years like Martin, now. same day like Martin Luther King, same day like Yellow Man, same day like Sister Carol. Yeah, see, you get it. So, all who love chat rumor and run off them out like them know, you don't know. If you need to know, ask I, Zane, <laughs> and it'll go. 24 year now. January coming 2018, 12 and 13, we're having the 25th anniversary at, at Grizzlies Plantation Covid Priory in St. Anne. Yeah! 25th anniversary, 25 years since we had it. Without alcohol, without meat, and you name all the artists in the reggae genre of music. Them play upon it from Jimmy Cliff to Burning Spirit to Ziggy to Hold on, you're you always having an international act on your thing. You call some artists more time. Yeah. Is, is that this is that thing that you, how long you do you start your planning after one show? February. Like, like Don't January? Yeah. We, we start February. February, right away. Yeah, so we're not planning now. Today we just release mm. the video of, um, well, what do you call that? A teaser. Uh, we, 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 we release a, a we release a teaser yeah. today all over the world to remind you that January um, 12 and 13 we'll be having the 25th anniversary. There's a nice thing, you know. You know, what happened two years now is like the government go said them uh, um, decriminalize weed and then put a, a clause in the constitution say if you're a rasta or you keep a rasta show or or the promoter is a rasta then you can get exemption. To, to have um, herb there. So we create a thing called the Herb Curb. And so we have symposium where we, 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 we teach people about herbs, we make people know say ganja no have to own the smoke, true, but true. you can get the medicinal purposes from it. You can, you can use it for economic benefit. You can use it for textile. You can make great clothes, great rope. As a matter of fact, the first constitution of America was written on hemp paper, ganja paper. And the, 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 the original president then, like Thomas Jefferson and, and the other one them used to beg people to plant one tree in them backyard. The reason why you have some places in America like Hemp Stead and Hempville. A hemp them used to plant there. Don't be fooled. The world used the thing. So when the government decriminalized it at the yard and said each man can plant a five tree and can carry maybe a two ounce on you, we um, 
capitalize on the opportunity. So yeah, all of the money want to say everything about herb. When they come a herbal salute, make sure you go to the herb curb. Bless and love. So Curtis is dancing clear on the YouTube family. Yeah. You don't know Jane International Day. How does I have bless up dancing clear on the YouTube family? Yeah man, well dancing clear you artist them and your watch you you would call the name for me. Dance yeah. Sinclair and, and, and Reggae Vibe and the whole, where's about the YouTube? The YouTube family, Unruly Cooley. The YouTube family, the Unruly and the Ruly family. Because yeah. <laughs> you have the Ruly family, the Unruly family and stuff. I want to bless up everybody, everybody who I watch. Bless up, I want to bless up um, with their uh, 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 Stingray. Stingray, Stingray Studio. We just do some big job a while ago. We come forward, we come do O2 with the Jamaica House. Um, Celebration for for the the uh, our uh, the, the athletes them so we just do that and I did that. What name? It's independence. The independence celebration. Jamaica always do it. The fifty five. Yeah, fifty five today. So we are on road to now because we know you're on the move. You never stop working. What's the right. next? Where if the people then do then catch you in London and you don't know social media thing. All right. Where the next move you are now? So we are going back to the morning and then we. I go give Queen Africa some support in New York and in Philadelphia. So New York, she has the ESIPS festival with Akon and Remy Ma and all other things. So we want to see how that gone. Um, yeah, we have a we we not stop move and we just do a a, a, a three weeks tour in US. in US the other day. We travel from from Washington go around to. Colorado, where they weed there, on yeah. Cincinnati, and the whole other place, and do the thing. We, we continue to do the thing where we just produced Queen Africa album, it debut number one Billboard. on Billboard. It jump out and come back in the top 10. It jump out and come forward in there again, and in the week, I mean, said, go back in the number 26. It's the album where you need to listen to. Straight up. Yeah. The album there is a master mistress piece. <laughs> you need to listen to it. It's named Climb. And you can always check us out on social media. I mean, them start bringing me in a social media thing. So them set up one little IG for me, underscore Tony Rebel and Tony Dash Rebel. And yeah, we do email and all of that to Patrick Rebel at gmail.com. You can follow Queen Africa. She has a whole heap of followers for fair thing, you know. And thing, we love it same way. So yeah, the thing, man, we, we they are do the work. We now stop because at this we come forward for. And we give thanks for life, we give thanks for health. So I got, got cut, and before I cut now, black people, especially who know they in London, the queen and the whole of money where they have here is black people, build it. Slaves where they bring from Africa and come here, come build the place. You're entitled. But don't use the entitlement to be negative. Try find ways and means for work and set yourself up. Don't just depend on selling a little bag. Yeah? Educate yourself. Find yourself into the thing. Understand how they make money and make something. Become entrepreneur. It's what I say, what man has done, man can do. Marcus Gavis said that. See? Him? So do it. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed to be black in the place because it's we. We give them enough for with them up. And we, we, although they don't want to give you the reparation, we are, we are churned for that, for, for, for get reparation like the Jews them. But we want to give you the confidence that we want to strengthen you, black people in London. Get yourself together. Don't fight against each other because the house that divided amongst itself must fall. See? Success is the fruit of cooperation. So even if you can't, I agree with a man because him stay a particular way. If you animal do a business, make sure so you don't get compatible within that realm. You know what I mean? You know like the man cause him stay a little way, but guess what now? You see, just for peace sake and for growth, we need to come together. So we have to do some honorable compromise. And we can't just start war with each other over some little petty jealousy two and some little murder, fight. And Babylon fight we fight yeah. Two power murder. We have to gather together and fight Babylon. So we can't afford to fight one another and fight Babylon at the same time. We are going to get a Yeah, and just go and eat right too. Some of the food them with them are gear. Huh. It's not right. It's a poison your system. That is why sometimes you find yourself not have no energy. Drink enough water. Drink the good water too. Don't eat the meat. 
You know what I mean? Remember, I said, so one time, mad cow disease, and them sitting there, there, you know. Watch where you eat, you know. What you mm. eat is what you are, yeah. You eat live for a live goodie. You can't put so dead food in there. Live pizza. You remember, come by your place and you give me that live well, pizza. Well, when it's there, Jamaica, it's there, Jamaica. That's what I say. If you have a live goodie, you need to put live food in there. So drink as much water as you can, eat as much vegetables as you can, eat as much fruits as you can. Keep the mind clean, have positive reasoning, and yeah, live. So Dan Sinclair, bless up Dan Sinclair. Just salute yes, them. Yeah. Give them a little yes. light. Give them a little jingle. Yeah, man. Dan Sinclair, bless. Give them a little jingle, so please. Yeah, man. I mean, I said, so Dan Sinclair, you're blessed. Reggae vibes, you're blessed. Okay, yeah. Silas, the first. Yeah.